This will be a choppy bird hunting guide. This is a requirement for the trimmed completion escape requirement. You will need an OK coil, cannonballs, access to proof, any tier of Arduin cloak, which you can do by completing the task. The easy gives you 25% chance of an extra chompy spawn. The medium gives 50% chance. Hard gives 75% chance. And doing the elite gives 100% chance to spawn an additional chompies. To get the Okayo Cannon, teleport to Falador. The items that you will need is an Comp Augury Bow, a normal Augury Bow works, and Augury Arrows. It's advised to use non-degradable range gear and any type of gear. Run to the Invention Guild. You will need 70 invention to access to make the coil. Enter the guild. You will see a technology notice board. Right click it. Technology. Select Goblin. And scroll at very at the bottom with a tier 4. It is how you unlock the ability to make it. After you've done that, you'll need to single click it to get task. Click on Goblin. Since I have completed all of the blueprints, it will ask for random invention supplies that you must gather. Keep doing so, and you will get the points to unlock the cannon. Once you have unlocked access to the cannon, manufacture at the workbench. Scroll halfway down. You will need two room bars, 150 metallic parts, 15 heavy, and 15 imbued components. Now to get there, make your way to any fairy ring, in my case it is the Cape of Legends. Right click on the fairy ring, go to A, K, S. then run east. Now if you are an Iron Man, to make the Augury arrows, you will need to bring your own feathers while you're east, kill a wolf, pick up its bones and chop an Archie tree nearby. Right click the bones to craft to make bolts. Click on the logs to fletch them. Use the shafts on the feathers. And then tip the bone bolts. If you do not have a org augury bow, speak to rats and he will sell you one for 500 coins if you have one that is fine run north and enter the cave entrance run northwest and you will see a locked augury chest unlock it search it and then drop an orgs bellow search and keep dropping Once you feel you have enough, make sure you have enabled the loot system. Loot all. Teleport back to the fairy ring. And this time, right click and you will use the fairy code B K and P teleport to the destination and then 
simply run west. Now if you have access to Prif and you have 115 Dungeoneering, teleport to option 9 which is Malair in my case. Run north and speak to Wyvern there. Right click him, enhancers. Option 3 to toggle enhancers. Scroll all the way down and then move your scroll box one up and there will be the chompy bird enhancer. If you do not have any, you can use the unre unfocus reward enhancer. If you have any, in my case I have 21. You can activate it, choose Chompy, exchange, close out the interface, open up the interface again, toggle, and here I am able to check mark it. The enhancers, each charge gets you one additional kill. So it will count two kills per one chomp you kill. In my case, I will uncheck mark it. And now it is time to kill the chompies. Teleport back to the fairy ring. Enter the code B K P. Once you see a bridge, you are at the destination. From the tree, go one tile, one tile west, another tile west, and place the cannon. Load the cannon. Now, you can either add the bellows to your action bar, or just simply click them to fill. The nearby swamp frogs, single click on them, and then place them anywhere. You can only have a max of three swamp toads in your inventory at a time. If you are to get a fourth, it will simply release one and exchange it in its place. Continue to drop the toads. Now the cannon is very useful because it has a massive AOE area. Place as many toads as possible. Right there as you saw, I didn't even have to attack the chompies and two are instantly killed. You do not need to pluck them to get the kill count for it. However, the Chompy's dead body blocks the other Chompy's so it won't be able to path closer to the cannon. If you need to, you can uh, collect them. You will get feathers and the raw meat will be placed on the floor. I have done a few hours of testing and I seem to get between 650 and 690 chompy kills per hour. If a chompy is not too close to the cannon, you can either kill it or let the chompy roam around a little bit. If you have the enhancers, 
you are able to almost get 1,300 trophies per hour. The requirement is to kill 4,000, meaning it will take a little under 3 hours, a little under 4 hours to do all 4,000 kills. Again, if you see the Trumpy roaming, you can just simply kill it. And this is a guide on how to kill the Chompy bird effectively. This may get nerfed that the cannon will kill it, so it's advised to do it while it still works. Thank you all and enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.